Hello guys, we are almost to a thousand subscribers. Getting there, getting there, one step at a time. Today's transformation cosplay is... Pamela Anderson! <laughs> you guys, how can I not, with this platinum blonde hair and bangs, how can I not? Let's put my hair back using my 99 cent clips. And let's start with this makeup, you guys. I'm actually in a good mood today. I don't know why I'm using the darkest foundation from Fit Me. It's 228. And I don't know why I'm in a good mood. I don't know. My space has changed. I've changed. I'm a whole new person. Now, hear me out. This is dark. But it's going to help me contour so you guys pamela anderson was somebody i watched on the show baywatch that's how i know her from maybe you guys know her from oh there's actually like i don't know like a tv movie or something coming out about her life i probably won't watch it i'm not a big fan of like biopics biopics are not my ish probably ever since i watched the biopic the queen i was like that's enough biopics for me don't forget your ears especially when you're using a darker foundation and i brought it down on my neck you guys this shirt color is supposed to be my color according to that autumn thing that i remember i told you guys about it Ugh, sometimes i can't put my words together but for the look let me just start with eyes we're gonna do black smoky eye because to me that just screams Pam Anderson and here's a, it's just scotch tape scotch magic tape and if you put it on your hand a little bit it takes some of the tackiness away and we'll put that on our eyes and now we will start with the black eyeliner I'm just gonna go in with tons and tons and tons a black eyeliner so here's what I have I have this eyeshadow right here it's kind of, actually it doesn't even really look black let's just go in so what have you guys been up to I know I always say that but nobody ever responds that's okay just talking to myself anyway I'm really excited that we're up our subscriber count um you know, for a while there, I didn't really think, well, for a while there, it was kind of touch and go, you know? Not really. Um, what was, what was I going to say? So with this black eyeliner, I'm going to put it all over my lid. I was thinking of doing it like not all over my lid but now i'm thinking i should okay so pam anderson's all about like those skinny eyebrows and i think that i think like the um what is it called when you get inspiration from i think the inspiration for the black or the tiny eyebrows i think that's from like the 1920s like silent film stars Because they had this is looking good okay and she definitely has it on the bottom lid so let me unfortunately I don't have black eyeliner to do like an inner eyelid and I think that's gonna be fine I did however shave off my eyebrows again I think we're looking good. We're looking like a raccoon and that's where we want to be, right? Still could be like a little darker. Should we go darker? I don't know. Let's fill in our eyebrows. So for eyebrows, I'm going to use an eyebrow pencil and this is just Benefit Eyebrow Pencil and I'm going to try to just make my eyebrows look non-existent. That's kind of all it looks like to me. I 
is that? I mean, that's pretty fierce. That's, that's, that's a showstopper. Yeah, I absolutely love Pam Anderson and Baywatch. When I was like 10, I was like, I really want a Baywatch swimsuit. So I tried like looking for one and the mo the best I could do was like a pink and yellow one. It was like the closest I came. It was literally like my favorite bathing suit ever. That's Harry, he's just claiming his territory. Don't mind him. Okay. I don't know how many coats that's gonna take, but let me get a brush. And for a brush, I'm just gonna use a flat one. I can find it if I can. There it is. I'm just gonna use this flat brush. And just see if I can just. I just wanna hide my eyebrows. I wanna hide the fact that they're on my face. Probably should have just shaved my eyebrows off. Where's my commitment? Okay, and Pam has like a really small nose. Let's just go in. I can still see my eyebrow. That means you can still see my eyebrow too. This is the whitest mascara in light peach. Whitest, lightest. You know what I'm talking about? Just trying to hide the fact that my eyebrows on my face, and I feel like this isn't working. Weak. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go back and fix that. Right now, we're gonna take our tape off. Fantastic. Doesn't look too bad. Put some, put our mascara or put our foundation back where it was. Jeez. These eyes. You know what? You're gonna be amazed because we're gonna come back. You're gonna come back in like two seconds and be like, wow. Those eyes have changed. Those eyes have become new again. I'm just gonna build up that black. Make it even more fierce. Because at least from what I can see, it's like a smoky eye. But I like using the tape because it really does sort of like say here, put your eyeshadow here. Instead of guessing. But. How has everyone's day been going? I'm going to put this. On the lower lash, connect it. I don't know. It's like just it is what it is <laughs> just kidding. we definitely need to clean this up a little bit I probably should not have used this white I don't know what I was thinking maybe we have to redo the eyebrows <laughs> you guys progress is includes failure you know what I mean the failure says hey this is how you don't want to do it I think I'll just buff the rest out. That's honestly fine. I don't think it's 
Now we're taking our foundation brush again and I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Wow, this is like kind of turning into a fail. Okay, we're gonna go in with a little bit of foundation. We're gonna see if that'll cover it up. There we go. That was a mess. This is the exact same foundation I put on my face. I just really wanna cover these eyebrows and maybe it's, maybe I'm asking for too much. Maybe I should shave them off. Ugh, we're back to the beginning. Find a new inspiration photo, honestly. Okay. So, back to what I was doing. Let's put a little blue. Put a little blue right on the inner corner, and for the blue, I'm going to use this. Total success or total flop. Well, I've had it. These eyebrows are not disappearing. Alright, let's just contour the face. I'm going to use a that same white concealer because, you know, how many mistakes can you make? Not enough. I'm gonna whiten up my nose. Little chin. Looks like this lip or this look is mostly lip and eyes. Although I can see she does have a flat forehead, so we'll do that. <laughs> what? Skull. I look like a skull. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I look like a hot mess express. <laughs> this is just inspired. I do remember that Pam Anderson had really nice cheekbones though.
What can I do for you? What can I say to you? What kind of song would you like me to sing? I've been to bed to you for a while yeah. And I just can't thank you enough Ooh, I, ooh, I, ooh, I, Hey, KKK. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's put on some blush. I'm gonna do that same Kitten Baby by Kylie. I can do that. This is the 90s, so we need blush. We need a lot of blush. Just to bring the look together. We need a lot of blush. The Witcher is coming out in December. <laughs> Let's put the lips on because I feel like if I put the lips on, I'll feel a little bit more ready. This look would be so much easier than it's turned out to be. I thought this would be so much easier than it's turned out to be. Talk to me, Kathy. Talk to me. If I didn't believe in you. Well, that's where the dialogue ends. I didn't believe in you. I wouldn't have stood before all of our friends. This is um, Downtown Beauty NYX. It's like a super brown pencil. Stood before all of our friends said, this is the one I choose. This is the girl I can't stand to lose. Trip us or trap us, but we refuse to bend. Dream house color pop. Fact doesn't matter is Kathy. Wouldn't be standing here now. That is from the play Five Years. This is, what is this? I kind of needed another brown. Kylie Jenner in the Ulta color. Going right under that dark brown lip liner. Drop back into the bottle. No, Kylie, no. Said, this is the one I choose. This is the girl I can't stand to lose. Trip us or trap us, but we refuse. It's KKW in nude one. Too bad. The fact of the matter is, Kathy, 
Okay. Wouldn't be standing here. No. Come with me to my magic show where I make myself look like a like a I make myself look like a fill in the blank fill in the blank fill in the blank No, I'm trying to bleach out my eyebrows again. <laughs> Fact of the matter is, Kathy, you wouldn't be standing here now. My first acting job? To start talking about it? What was my first acting job? What is it? Oh. <laughs> I moved to New York City um, after I joined the army and uh, did the signed up for background casting and I did the show Blue Bloods with Donnie Wahlberg but literally like they just hire you to kind of like walk in the background that's like your job but I was so excited and they were talking about like vouchers and stuff and I was like oh my god do I do I get a voucher? Like, that's so exciting. But no, you only get a voucher. A voucher is just like a union voucher. It means that they pay you union for that day. No, I was non-union. I've basically been non-union on almost every background job that I worked on, except for one, which was that show. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. You might not have seen it. The one with um, Reese Witherspoon. And she... Oh yeah, it's called Home Again. That one, they actually gave me a union voucher. My sister and I both worked on that. I'm gonna use CoverGirl Cheekers. And it has no name, it's just called Blush. But it looks like this, it looks like this. And I'm just gonna darken up. But you guys, I did like background acting for a really long time. Probably like three years nonstop, you know, like where you do it continuously. But like, it's such a fun job though, because you basically show up, you know, you don't have to prepare. You just show up. You normally have to like, if you're non-union, you normally have to like bring your own clothes, which that kind of sucks. But, um, Sorry, I'm not giving up on this loop. Okay, when you see it, it's it's barbed from um it's it's barbed wire. That's that's the like inspiration let's put some black liquid eyeliner on this is Kat Von D probably super old because you know now Kat Von D has changed the name of their product so the fact that this product still says Kat Von D on it is like means it's probably old we're gonna put it in our inner eyelash 
You know what my favorite movie of all time is, though? I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, you know, I actually really like those deep, dark dramas. Like, I love Girl Interrupted. That's, like, I'm thinking about that um, for a long, for a while now. Like, how good that movie is. And then um, other, like, I guess The Hours was, like, one of my favorite with Nicole Kidman. And that is based on, like, the story of Virginia Woolf, which Virginia Woolf is a famous writer, I think from, like, the 1800s or something. Anyway, she was, like, one of the first, like, published women authors. And, of course, now, like, um, it's almost out. <sighs> Let's try this again. I think if we just darken the top. That'll really set it off. I don't know. And then it's just like a, just like, that's it. Yeah, Nicole Kidman used to be in like some really, my eyebrows look ridiculous. <laughs> I just want to take them off my face. But Nicole Kidman used to be in, like, really good movies. And then all of a sudden she was in that film, um, what was it? It was, like, all about suburbia. She was in, yeah, she was in The Stepford Wives. And I literally just couldn't, like, get on her level again. Like, I mean, I love her in Big Little Lies, but, um, you know, it's just not the same. Is this, like, am I giving you kitten eyes? See, my sister just doesn't understand, you know, because I think she's just, like, not on my level, but, like, I actually, you know what? We need a little bronzer because I'm not getting that, like, sharp chin that she has, okay? So, we need to put a little bronzer on my face. Put the lots of bronzer on my face. Um, yeah, we'll just use this one when it's got a little blush on it. Blend those colors. That's where the travel log ends. I don't even know if that's the lyrics, but. Oh, shoot. You know, she's super skinny though, so I'm gonna have to like bronze my nose a little. Cause my nose doesn't look the same. So a little, that Laguna bronzer. This is, this is actually a free birthday gift from Sephora. Thank you, Sephora. I love when brands do birthday gifts. That is like, you know who I'm not glad does a birthday gift though? Like, what is that stupid? Starbucks. Starbucks has a birthday gift, but then they literally make you use it in like 24 hours. Of course I never have like, I never have a craving for Starbucks on my birthday. But yeah, I did background acting for a long time because I really wanted to be an actor. So that's that's basically why I did it. And I really wanted to get like in the union and you need like three vouchers to get in the union. So I got one voucher. Yeah, after three years, one voucher. That's where the travel log ends. We're really gonna make that nose look round at the end. So I'm putting the shadow right in there. Although you obviously have a different nose than me. Unless you're one of my long lost relatives. Which you could be. <laughs> That awkward moment when a relative, like a long lost um, relative, adds you on Facebook. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I can't add you. I don't know who you are and I really don't want you just snooping on my page, okay? This is looking pretty good. I still think we need a little bit more here.
What? Long lost oh yeah, a long lost relative that never acknowledges your existence. So you don't exist to any of them. You know what's interesting? Like, yeah, that's kind of like my life story, right? Like, you know how some people like, you know, like they have like the grandparents and stuff. Like, I never had those. I never had like the grandparents and stuff. Like, um, I didn't even know when my uh, paternal grandmother died. I just saw it on Facebook. Like, nobody told me. I just saw it on Facebook, so. And then, like, the maternal grandmother, when she died, I saw that in the news. <laughs> That's a story time. Just kidding, it's not. It's boring. Um, I really feel like I need some glitter. Ugh. I want to make it pop. I need more glitter. This is buxom and it's just like clear, it's clear silver glitter. But you know how it is when you have lipstick on it, it kind of just wants to blend in with your lipstick. So I'm putting it on the back of my hand and I'm gonna scoop some up and just dab that right in the center of my lip. I really want the sparkles. Sorry, this is already 31 minutes, but you learned a lot about me today. Okay, that you wouldn't have known any other way. You know what we should do? Let's just take this to the max. Let's add some lustrous foil. Oh my goodness, it's a mess. I have makeup everywhere. I have makeup on my hands. I have makeup all over my desk. It's everywhere. So, I think for a lustrous color, we really need a flat brush. You know what? We're going to use our hands. Why not? We'll just use our hands. Picking up some of that. Oh, wait. You have black. You have black. I'll just use black. Okay, now we've got extra makeup all over. What? This is e.l.f. and this is just a black liquid eyeliner and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand because that's what I was told to do. Always do what you told. You know what? I'm going to pass on the eyelashes today because um, I think I don't even think you'd be able to see them that well. And um, yeah, I just don't think the payoff would be worth it. So let's just try this a little bit. Ooh, if that's not giving me 90s, oof. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff right there. You guys, didn't we all think that this was going downhill like two minutes ago? I think we all thought that. But now we pulled it out. We we made a miracle happen. All right. Hmm. Oh, okay. found some paper. Found a tissue. So I think this is it for makeup. I really don't see the point in adding anything else. I could do a little bit more blush if I did this CoverGirl dark one, just because that's looking really pale but I think this is it for the look and now I'm gonna go do my hair and when I come back you guys Pam Anderson ah. all right guys here's the look I put on this black top from Victoria's Secret and this like leopard bottoms because honestly I feel like Pam Anderson would wear these leopard bottoms and all I did with my hair is just like, clipped it up a clip. Okay, what do we think? Did we nail this one? Did we? Tell me honestly in the comments. Alright, bye. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's so important for my growth, you know, so I can become a professional cosplayer which is hashtag goals. 
and you know also it just lets me know that like you appreciate what I'm doing here and um you know so I can keep making these videos I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching Pam says hi bye I love you guys see you in the next video